Hi and welcome to Knitting Blooms. Today is Saturday, November 19th and this is episode number 30. Welcome to the show and if you are a new viewer, thanks for stopping to check out the show and if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Sammy is probably going to be a pain today. I didn't give her a snack before I started recording so we're going to see how long this goes. And I have half of my show notes written and sitting here on the table, and the other half are on my phone. <laughs> I think I'm going to start doing most of my show notes on my phone, but it's easier for me to keep track of my yardage writing it all out because I keep notes and stuff like that. So anyway, um, this is kind of a crazy week for me, and I didn't really get a whole lot of personal knitting done. Um, and for that matter, I didn't get a huge amount of knitting for hire done either. So let's see. I was sick all last week, so you knew that. And then, so this week, I was trying to play catch-up. Most of last week, when I wasn't feeling well, I didn't do too much of anything around the house. So I really needed to get down and get things cleaned. So this week, I think it was Monday instead of coming home and working out and knitting, I did quite a bit of cleaning. And so I didn't do much knitting on Monday. I did start, did I start the new Knitting for Hire? I think I'm, no. Yeah, I think I did start a swatch for the new Knitting for Hire that I received on Monday. But that was about as far as it went. Tuesday, I did get a little bit of knitting time, but most of it was spent working on the new knitting for hire because when I received it on Monday, it was twice as many yards as I originally thought it was going to be. Originally, she had written the pattern for one yarn, um, which was, I think, a chunky or bulky weight. And when she got the yarn to me and the pattern, it was written for a worsted weight yarn. So twice as much yardage to do the same thing, which is okay. I, I agreed I would help her with the project, but I was thinking that it would take me about a week to knit, and now it's going to take me probably two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. And it has to be done by November 30th. I think she has to get it in the mail no later than like the first or something like that. So, unfortunately, I think that my knitting time for the next few, for this past week and this week coming up, is going to be primarily knitting for hire. And, unfortunately, I can't show it to you because it is for a, a magazine and it is a sample knit for a new p pattern. So... I don't have a lot to show you today, so this might be a short episode. I have a lot to talk about, but not a lot to show you. Um, what else this week? Oh, another reason on on um, Wednesday, my husband finally got his iPhone. He's been wanting to. Well, I've been talking him into getting an iPhone for since I got mine, and. He, I finally kind of talked him into getting one a few weeks ago. However, Apple store was all sold out. Everybody was sold out, so you kind of had to reserve it and go the next day to pick it up. Well, Tuesday night when we were actually sitting down and watching some TV, it was just after 9 o'clock, and I remembered that you have to check the Apple site every day after 9 o'clock to see if they have... A new iPhone in stock. So I did, I saw that they had the one that he was looking for and we went ahead and reserved it and then we had to go pick it up Wednesday after work. So as much as I wanted to get started on my running again this week after I had been sick, I didn't run until today. So so that was that was Wednesday night. So there was no knitting time Wednesday because by the time we got home it was pretty late, and 
I might have knit a tiny bit Wednesday night, but not, not too much at all. And then Thursday I did knit a little bit. And then last night on Friday, uh, we went to go see a performance of the Phantom of the Opera at the Wald Lake, I think it's Wet, Wet, Wald Lake Western uh, Performing Arts. So that was quite fun. And uh, Phantom of the Opera is Steve's favorite play or musical or whatever you want to call it. So it was kind of a surprise for him. I just kind of said, we're going out Friday. I'm not telling you where. And he was okay with that. Now, it would drive me crazy if he says it's a surprise and I'm not telling you. But he was pretty good about it. I mean, we actually arrived at the school and he was still had no clue what we were doing. He figured that it was a, either a sporting event, a school sporting event, or um, some kind of a play, but he thought, well, why are we going all the way across town? I mean, this was, I mean, literally 45 minutes away to go and see this play. Well, this production is a really big thing in this area, and people come from Canada and Ohio to see this performance every year. Now, every year they do a different a different play but it's incredible how much money they put into these things and the performance these high school kids can do because it was absolutely I mean literally I, I saw Phantom of the Opera we I think we went to the Fox or the Fisher or somewhere um, a number of years ago and Steve's seen it three more times than more times than I have and he even said that it was like seeing a Broadway show I mean, it was absolutely incredible. The three leads in the play were just incredible singers. It was really good. So that's what we did last night. And last night was really the only time I knitted. And I knitted at the theater <laughs> in the dark. So I was hoping that I wouldn't make a mistake. And at one point, I did get to a point um, on my, my project that the stitches didn't feel quite right so I had to put the knitting down until intermission so that I could figure out what I had done and I did I had for whatever reason I had picked like gone through the stitch below or something and um, I needed to ladder it up a little bit so yeah so not much knitting this week but let me tell you what I did do but before I do that I want to talk about the package that I received last week. I totally forgot to mention this when I recorded last week and because the um, the stuff was upstairs and I for totally forgot. But I have to tell you that Lois from Knitties My Bag has super awesome customer service and super fast because it, I think it was the, I want to say it was Sunday or Monday before I went to um, Knitting in the Mitten that I emailed Lois and said I would like to place an order I want to get um, I asked her if she had certain fabrics I wanted to get and I don't even remember what it's what the fabric was called but I'll show you and you'll know what I'm talking about but there was two fabrics that I wanted to get and I had specific things in mind because I wanted to get um, some fabric for a gift well a bag for a gift and I also wanted to order a new bag for myself, but I wanted a specific fabric. And I had been, you know, stalking her store, and it seemed like every time this fabric was put in the shop, it sold out very quickly. So it was Monday or Tuesday. It may have, I mean, Sunday or Monday. It may have been Tuesday, but I don't remember. All I can say is that I emailed her. She emailed me back. She said she does have the fabric. She would make me the bags, and then she would put it up as a, um, like a special purchaser or something like that, des designated specifically for me. So I'm like, great, and I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'll give, you know, it'll probably take her about a week to get it done. She's got other stuff to do. She doesn't need to be, um, you know, stopping everything to make me a couple of bags. After I had told her what what size bags in each fabric I wanted I think it was like the very next day now it could have been you know two days but it seemed like I think it was the very next day that she emailed me back saying your your uh, custom listing is up unbelievable she was so fast and then 
I think because I think it was Thursday that I um that I got the email saying that the custom listing was up and that I would go and pay for it. So I paid for it on Thursday. And I don't know when she shipped it, but I think I had it on um Monday or Tuesday after I got back from knitting in the mitten. Unbelievable quick unbelievably quick. So I can only show you the bags that I have because um she did make a donation to Knittopia. So I don't have that bag. That's upstairs. But I ordered two bags, um, one for me and one for a gift. And I've already sent the gift off to who it's going to. So I can only show you the bag that I got for me. And it is this one. I haven't used it yet because <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. But I can't wait to use it. It's with the, um, the, the Knitting Witches. And I can't, like I said, I can't remember what she called it, but I ordered, this is the medium size bag, and I also ordered a um, Notions bag as well. So I'm very excited about putting a new project in this bag and getting to use it because it's been sitting. Like I said, I forgot it last week when I, when I podcasted, and then when I went back upstairs after I finished podcasting, I saw it and I was thinking about putting in a separate little clip, but I had already taken down all the lights and everything, and I was like, eh, I don't feel like putting it all back up again. So I waited until this week. But awesome, awesome customer service. If they're, Lois, I'm sorry if you don't like to do custom orders, but you have awesome customer service. So if you want a bag in a specific fabric, contact Lois, because she's willing to do that kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure that she's making bags anyway, and it's probably better for her to know that the bag is already sold before she's make, making it. But it just seems like those popular fabrics go very quickly. And if you don't have a special order or if you're not right there the second the shop goes, the item goes up, a lot of times you're not going to get that item. So, um, so yeah, so that was very cool. And I also placed another order with Wolf Farms. I've been burning my Deck the Halls candle. And oh my gosh, that candle is awesome. So I had to go back to the shop and order more. And this week, I noticed that there was only one Deck the Halls candle in stock. I contacted um, contacted them and they were going to be making some new candles on Friday or something. And they emailed me and said I had put in a special order for candles. And they emailed me, and now I've got my special order of candles. I got, I ordered some more of the, um, the Deck the Halls, and I also ordered some Santa's Tree Farm. And I've been burning the lavender up in my bedroom. I light it like two or three hours before I go to bed. And oh my gosh, it's, it makes the bedroom, the whole bedroom smell wonderful. And it's just so relaxing when I get up there to go to bed. So if you haven't tried um, Wolf Farms candles go check them out so now let's get into what I'm not knitting <laughs> I have I have two finished objects this week but I have nothing to show for me for them because the first finished object was um, the bear I did finish the bear I also shipped the bears so nothing to show you in fact I will put a um, a picture because I did take a picture before I put it in the in the um, the box. I will take a picture, or I have a picture, and I will put that in here to show you that it is finished. And I will also show you a picture of all eight bears, the four from Michelle and my four bears, on their way into the box to go to um, I think it's Minnesota is where Mother Bear Project is. So. Yeah, so that's done. Then the second finished object, which I think I finished on Sunday, um, I just had one, a couple of finishing touches to do on the um, the first knitting for hire that I did, and that was done on Sunday. And again, nothing to show you for that either because it was a secret knitting for hire, and two, it's already gone back to the person too. Um, I what I can say about it is that. 
I'm going to be looking for the magazine when this one comes out because this is one project that I would definitely absolutely want to knit for myself so um, Amy said that it was probably coming out in May um, I think she said creative knitting so Amy if I'm wrong with that and you're watching can you let me know which magazine that's coming out in because I really want to watch for that as the time gets closer I'm looking at my list of what I have on my phone um so yeah so two finished objects this week but nothing really to show for it because I don't have them okay so as far as the other whips um what are we doing no as far as the other whips go I worked on two projects other than the knitting for hire this week and it wasn't the sock yarn blanket or the lady or the modified lady Eleanor or the basic socks or the sofa saver or oh no I did work on three projects Bacardi no no progress on that Citron nothing stinky pink I didn't start my new mittens I feel so bad I want to get those started but at when I got that knitting for hire this week and saw that it was going to be a thousand to twelve hundred yards instead of five hundred I was like I gotta work on this so most of my knitting time this week was on that knitting for hire which I did knit 277 yards but really that's not a lot considering what I've done in the past so that's I really haven't had a lot of knitting time this week because I've been so busy um, the loopy triangle nothing I'm not going to show them all to you because I had no progress they're exactly the same as last week the things that I did work on um, I did finish the double crochet blanket well not really finish it I finished the last stripe I'm not going to show it to you today because it's over there it's so big it's bulky it looks the same just with one more stripe I did finish the last stripe I am planning on um, doing the border I haven't started that yet but I am planning on doing that at some point hopefully this week when I get tired of the new knitting for hire which needless to say is a lot of garter stitch so there's not a lot of um, concentration but you know you get to the point where you can't take garter stitch anymore so I think that that's when I'm going to be working on my other projects this week which is probably not going to be very often so we'll see how that goes but I shouldn't have any problem finishing that double crochet blanket this week putting that border on because really it's only two skeins and um, I think I'll be able to get that get that done this week the other project that I worked on for a very minute amount of time was the Multnomah last week I talked about ripping it out and putting it on size fours well as I said when I was recording that I needed to check the gauge and sure enough um, I was getting a tighter gauge on the size threes than I than the pattern called for so I think I'm gonna be okay with um, using the size fours and I did go up to my size four signatures and I started it barely <laughs> barely I think I have I don't know not very many rows it's there but not very many rows so maybe I'll have time to work on this this week maybe I won't we'll see how it goes um, definitely that other knitting for hire is going to be my main priority and I also got seven new projects to do for the other person that I do a lot of knitting for hire for she has no specific deadline so that's kind of nice but a lot of the a lot of the projects are hats and cowls um, I think there's a shawl or two that she wants done um, I think two little crop sweaters for um, girls yeah I think that's about it but seven seven projects so if I need some quick satisfying knitting I'll probably be working on those but 
I will definitely not be starting those until the, the one knitting for hire that has a deadline has been completed. The only other knitting that I did this week, did I say that I did 277 yards on the knitting for hire this week? That's not including on the other project that I finished, but anyway. So really, the bear, 10 yards. The simple crochet, double crochet blanket, 76 yards. That's the only personal knitting so far. The last personal knitting was on my um, basic socks. And let's see, this sock with the green marker, I knit that much. And then that's where I need to start my, my ribbing. Um, and I didn't do the ribbing on this because I wanted to get to this, this point on the other sock. And I'm kind of glad because I think I was working on the other sock last night at um, Phantom of the Opera and I think I went a little bit further than this point so I have to I'm gonna count the rows I usually don't worry about it I usually just set them side by side and they look pretty darn close but it's not that many rows because it is a um, medium weight sock set rock so I'm gonna go ahead and count the rows and um, and see where I am this one is the one that I worked on last night with Phantom of the Opera and I did all of that in the dark last night <laughs> which is pretty darn good considering and um, as I look back um, I do see the spot where I had a little bit of a issue from intermission it's right here I'm sure you can't see it but and it's not really it looks fine I think it's just because what happened was I think I wrapped the stitch I thought I had gotten the stitch and I wrapped it and then I suck it in again and wrapped it again so it's got a little bit of extra yarn there. I think that as I wear it and block it or soak it or whatever, you're not even going to be able to tell where that was. But yeah, I knit all that in the dark. In fact, I don't know what she was thinking, but that as soon as I sat down, I took my knitting out and I put it on my lap. And, um, you know, we got there like 30 minutes before the show started, so I had a a few minutes to knit before the show but almost I mean I hadn't even started knitting yet and the lady that was sitting right behind me says says to her husband who brings their knitting to a fifty thousand dollar production I mean that it's fifty thousand dollars because that's how much money they put into the show that's how nice the show is and the reason I know that is because I work with the husband of um, the husband and father of two of the ticket takers so they kind of get the inside scoop anyway so I hear her whisper to her husband who brings knitting to a fifty thousand dollar production and I'm like what difference does it make I can knit without looking I'm gonna be watching the show and enjoying the show why do you even care well then the kicker is is that after intermission my husband and I are sitting there and I kinda look over my shoulder and they're not there. The two, the husband and wife, are not there. And I look over at my husband and I said, Who isn't in their seat after intermission at a $50,000 production? <laughs> I thought, you know what? I can't believe that lady made that comment and then didn't show up for the second half of the show. The show was amazing. So why aren't you attending the second half? I mean, she's some kind of, I guess she must have been some kind of Miss Pris because maybe she didn't think it was as good as it should be who knows the show was amazing so people that are not knit, not knitters or whatever maybe she is a knitter and she just couldn't believe that I would bring my knitting I take my knitting everywhere because you know what it keeps me calm and it keeps me from jittering you know I just I have a hard time sitting still and if I have something in my hands it's so much easier to just chill and not feel like I got to get up and do stuff. So yeah, so I worked on this last night. Got got quite a bit done. I will be starting the the um the cuff. They Yeah. That's about where it lines up. So you if you can see that, I don't know if you, it's probably four or five rows. So, yeah, cuz I just kept knitting and knitting and knitting and I thought that I had checked it, but I usually only go to right where the, um, if I fold the sock in half with the heel here and the toe, I usually go right to the tip of my toe when I fold it in half 
and then that's when I start my my cuff so I did a little bit more so I'll just add a couple extra rows to the other sock and then knit the cuffs it really is a quick knit so hopefully I will have this as a finished object next week um, if I can get away from doing the other knitting for hire and I'm sure that there are going to be times this week that I've had enough of garter stitch but I just need to motor through as much as I can because right now I've only done 277 yards and I possibly have another 900 to a thousand yards to go so yeah it's gonna be crazy so that's that's all my knitting that's it that's all I have to show for this week it's it's crazy um oh <laughs> I did want to mention, I was watching Sarah from Rain Lover Knit today, and apparently I might have started a trend. <laughs> you know the little stitch marker that I put in every week to show you how far? She's now putting this, She's. I don't think she started it yet, but she talked about starting it, putting her stitch marker in so you, she could show your prog so progress. And Dawn from Wolf Farms, and I think Nicole also started doing um, the little stitch marker thing. I I like it personally because especially even when I do work on my project on my own I a lot of times I will put a different color stitch marker in for each day like if I, especially if I'm working on a sock and let's say I worked on this earlier in the week and I just want to see how much further I have to go or how much I've done in that specific day I'll put a stitch marker in for each day and then take that one out when I show on the podcast because I like to see progress um, and especially with socks uh, it's hard it seems like you're knitting and knitting forever and there's no progress but um, putting that stitch marker in it just it motivates me it really does so let me know if you if you've started doing the little stitch marker do that just to keep track of your progress each week because I really like it I I've, I've been doing it for a long time it's a lo as long as I can remember because mostly it's just a daily thing like if I'm um, working on a project that I'm just trying to get through I put the stitch marker in as I start the project for the day and I see how much I knit so I think it's kind of cool that um, that people are liking that and starting to do that as well okay let me look at my my little list here I'm loving my iPhone it's I this after, now that my husband has the iPhone too, it's even more fun because now we can um, have apps that are linked together. We can track each other a little bit easier. He's whenever I'm traveling or something, he likes to kind of track me on GPS and um, make sure that nothing's happened. And we just have all sorts of different apps. So I'm downloading apps. He's downloading apps. We're kind of comparing notes. And I'm still getting suggestions from the thread on Ravelry as well. So that is really a lot of fun every time I get a new app. I try and keep my app spending budget to a minimum, you know, probably no more than $5 a week. Because really, I could just go crazy buying new apps every week. So I try and um, I keep track of which, which apps that I've checked out and how much they cost. And then at the end of the week when I'm ready to go to the next week I'll go back through and see if there's any ones that I really really want to buy if I've already met my app budget for the week because really I mean if you've done anything on iTunes or anything like that it's very easy to rack up those um, those dollars on spending on buying songs and apps and what have you so it's been a lot of fun so if you have any new apps that you want to share please do so I'm always looking for new apps I don't even know how many I have now last check I think I had 155 um, some of them I don't use that often but some of them are games that are just fun to have and play with when you have a moment so what I like about this having my show notes on here is I can ch check it off and <laughs> then it's gone <laughs> um okay so let's talk about the knit alongs the mitten it along is going. I obviously I have no progress on my stinky pinks this week. I haven't restarted them yet. Um, but you can still join the knit along. There will be prizes at the end. Prizes! 
join the knit along. Um, it goes till the end of January. You can knit any pattern by Valerie, and I have a link on the um, Ravelry thread for the mitten knit along. She has five patterns, including ten below. <laughs> Last week I couldn't figure out. I couldn't remember. I knew it was something below, but I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what it was. But it's ten below. It's a very cool snowflake pattern. Um, and then obviously the stinky pink, which is what I'm doing. Um, Marley's Garden, Red Velvet, there's one more, I can't remember, but she has five patterns, so you can do any of the five patterns with the mittens, it's all color work, um, there will be prizes at the end, I don't know what yet, but there will be prizes, also the Knit Your Stash contest, join, we've got a bunch of people, I was looking at the some of the projects today, it's really a lot of fun to see the finished objects when you guys post them in the thread. And I saw today that um, Jeffner, Jennifer, I think she's from Pittsburgh, I want to say. I looked at it real quick right before I sat down. She's knit. I mean, knit or crocheted, because I think some of her projects are crocheted, 5,800 and some odd yards. That's not, that doesn't include anything that she's de-stashed or anything like that. Unreal. I think she's the same person that knit like 17 bears for one of the podcasters for the podcaster challenge. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, so I went through all of the posts today and just kind of got, got an idea of where people are. And a lot of people are, are doing it. A lot of people are well over a thousand yards knitted. And then with their D-stash, they're, you know, between 2,000 and 4,000 yards. So this is very doable. It is very doable. And if you have a lot of stash that you just want to unload, you know, take it to a charity or whatever and unload it. Give it to somebody in need. And then you can count it to towards your um your your knit your stash and there will be prizes for this as well but you have there's got there's probably going to be at least one prize for everybody who enters but there will be more prizes for people that actually finish so you still have over a month a mo about a month and a half now to finish to to get to that 6000 yards and if it means that you're de-stashing and you're giving away thousands of yards on December 31st so that you can complete it, then do it. Do it. Call Purple Heart or whomever you like to donate to and make sure they're picking up before the end of the year and de-stash everything you can or, you know, go to the Salvation Army, drop it off at the Salvation Army or wherever you want to drop it off. But you can definitely meet that meet that um that yardage my personal goal is to get the to, to knit that much yardage but at this point with having to spend the next two weeks um working on the knitting for hire i don't think i'm gonna personally reach it but we'll see how that goes if i spend the whole month of december pretty much primarily working on my own projects there's a slight possibility but i'd have to knit well over 500 yards a week to do that so we'll see how that goes so those two knit alongs that I'm running right now the knit your stash and the the mitten knit along both will have prizes at completion so if you haven't joined and you want to join please go and join either one of those there's two threads there's separate threads in the Ravelry group that you can just get into and just say that you're joining. So those are the knit alongs. What else? Um, I've covered everything on that list. I've covered the the iPhone apps. I think it was a couple months ago I mentioned that I purchased the Master Knitter program. It's kind of on hold right now, obviously, for the knitting for hire and what have you. I think I'm going to try and get it get it going and make reasonable progress each week starting in January um, I don't 
have any specific plans, but I would like to get it done next year. I can't remember. I think I bought it earlier this summer. And you have like a whole year to get it done. And or you have to just make sure that you have updated information when you finally do send it in. But I would like to get that completed um, hopefully by the by summer. I, I mean, I think it's very doable. It's just, I don't know why I'm so intimidated about writing the paper on blocking, but I mean, I probably could write it almost 100% just from my experiences. But when you have to cite sources and stuff like that you know sometimes I don't know I've, I was always intimidated about my papers in high school and my college papers and what have you but I don't know why I let it intimidate me but I just need to do it and get it done and then I'll be happy that it's done then I'll have to move on to level two however I've heard that level two is extremely hard but we'll see how that goes um what else oh in December Thank goodness the knitting for hire will be done. Um, Mommy Needs Yarn and I are going to be doing a knit along with Wool Mice. And I forgot what pattern we're using. It is one of the four Hitchhiker series patterns. The Hitchhiker is in like a set of four. You don't have to buy all four, but I did because I want to do the Hitchhiker at some point too. Um, I think it's like Margarita or something to that effect I can't remember what it is but we are starting that December 1st so if you have wool mice or you just want to knit the pattern I guess we are doing it because both of us have wool mice and neither one of us have used it yet so we're thinking that we need to just jump in and use it so that's what we're going to do I've kind of picked out the yarn I want to use, I kind of have three or four different things selected. Maybe next week I'll make a note to um, pull that yarn out and show you what I've kind of decided and maybe you guys can make your my final decision for me. Um, so then I don't have to make the final decision. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like to make decisions either. Anyway, so that's coming up in December, so if you want to join along with that knit along, um, that will be December. What else? Knittopia. We did fill the extra spots that came available with people, you know, schedules changed and some people had to drop out. We do still have one spot available for the first weekend. So if you're interested in snagging that spot, get in contact with me. Otherwise, we are booked other than the, the midweek spots. We still have, I want to say, four midweek spots. So if your schedule permits you to be gone during the week, we have four spots available for midweek. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, the one thing I don't like about this, um, this program, which is... I think it's called Awesome Notes. Can't even. Yeah. Oh no. A note. A note. Um, there's different types of. You can make lists with check marks, like a to-do list, or you can make like lists, like um, due dates with due dates. So, but I really. Oopsie. That's what happened. I changed that to a different type of list. Okay, I'm changing that back. But I don't know why I had that on. I did it again. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. Anyway, I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. That's all I've got this week. And unfortunately, I think next week is going to be much of the same. Not a whole lot of knitting content because I'm going to be primarily working on that knitting for hire. Then we have, but we do have the holiday weekend, so there'll probably be some extra knitting on Thursday and Friday, and maybe before I record on Saturday. And then my boss is on vacation Monday and Tuesday after Thanksgiving, so there will be some extra knitting time then. But again, most of my knitting time this week and into the beginning of next week is going to be 
that knitting for hire because if I have a thousand yards to go I need to just focus on that that's gonna I don't know if I'm gonna be able to knit a thousand yards in the next seven to ten days so we'll see how that goes but I will be trying to work on my projects as time permits if I get so dead tired of garter stitch then I will pick up another project here and there but I can't see much time on that especially when I know that this project has to get done so that's all for now I hope you're knitting blooms this week and I will talk to you next week hopefully on Saturday maybe I'll record on Friday I'm not sure since Friday's uh, the, I'm off um, work that day but probably Saturday so I will talk to you next week. Bye for now.